which I think that is Friday, so in just a couple of days. Um, this is Wednesday, I am doing my update. He's actually 12 weeks and 6 days, so he will be 13 weeks tomorrow, but by the time you see this, he will be, um, he will be 13 weeks old. Um, I did weigh him today. I was a little concerned last week about his weight gain, and I'm still not completely comfortable where we're at. Um, I put him on the scale, and he was 12.2 last week, and I got only 12.4, so I was like, okay. But as always, when I do get a funky weight that I'm not happy with, I take him off the scale, turn it off, turn it back on, just to make sure that it's not any kind of error. And when I put him back on the scale a second time, I got 12.10. And then he kind of fidgeted a little bit and I got 12.6. So, um, the 12.10 is acceptable, is great. So, I'm hoping that that's where he's at. Um, we usually do these videos earlier in the morning. So, I don't know if that makes a difference on how much he's ate and pooped and all that. But um, we're going to continue to work on make sure he gets what he needs to get. Um, we have had a rough week. Um, a strange turn of events. I got a new pump. It's a double electric pump, which I'm really excited to get. Works really well. Nice little weekend. Normal type of stuff. Things were back to normal because last week kids were out of school. Hey, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and my husband didn't make it to dialysis on Wednesday due to the cold snow that didn't happen mess. But he went on Friday, and we were back to normal. And my husband had an uncle that sadly passed away, so we had a um, funeral to go to on Saturday. And a lot of family members who had not Theus has got to finally meet him. And that was great. Sunday we went and had dinner with my mom as usual and we came home. My week has been crazy. By the time you see this video, last week's video will be up. But as of now, last week's video is not posted. And I will explain why. Um, Sunday night we came home. Um, my mom had some issues that she had was dealing with so she called me and we were on the phone I don't know until midnight I want to say and husband and I were maybe up till one or so we finally settled down and went to bed he went to go eat a sandwich he was hungry so he went to go get a late night sandwich and went in the living room and fell asleep and about 3 3 30 a.m. he um had tried to call me and I was sleeping and my ringer was not on so I didn't hear the phone and so he stumbled into the bedroom and said that he wasn't doing good he couldn't breathe and very disoriented I kind of sat up and went like what do you need me to call 911 and he's like yes call 911 so at that point I'm like a what like wait what you want me to call 911 okay this is not just I don't feel good 
So, <clears throat> I reach for my phone and I call 911 um, as I ask him to hand me his phone so I can call my mother to try and get her out here to help with the kids. So, I talk to the um, operator, she asks some questions like our address and is he type of blue, was he conscious, those type of things. And um, told my mom, I'm calling 911 for Dan, he's not doing good, please um, get here now, I need you, I hung up on her. And they told me to turn on the porch light for them. He was sitting in the computer chair in our bedroom and um, what is with you? You're so fussy. You're so fussy. Try the plug. So, anyhow, he was sitting in the computer chair in our room, and I asked him, could you um, possibly make it to our living room? And he said, no, I cannot. He kept saying, I hope they get here soon. I'm get it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I'm walking around with this little guy pacing. I do see the ambulance lights at front of our house, so I opened the door, and they asked me for his driver's license, so I dug those out of his pants pocket and handed them to him, and they asked him to sit back, he couldn't, his oxygen level was like 70 something, because he was having trouble breathing, they put some oxygen on him, drug him down the hallway, and got him, because my hallway kind of wandered, like it zigzagged, so we could, they couldn't get a stretcher back there, so they just kind of drug him on the chair, down the hallway, and then they, um, and then they put him on the stretcher and took him. And I was standing in my living room with this baby. My husband was just whisked away. I don't know if he's okay. I don't know what. I threw his phone in his lap as he was leaving. Um, I was just kind of freaked out. Um, they asked me for his insurance card. And I couldn't even think where I did what I did with his wallet. So I actually had to ask an EMT to hold these while I located where I put his wallet. Um, and I was just very, very upset. My mom finally arrived and I packed up my pump and everything I could possibly need because we decided that it would have been best for me not to bring Theus with me. Even though that killed me, but I didn't know the situation that he was in and if I would have drive all that way with the baby and be told that the baby can't come back there, I don't know what I would have done. So I went and saw him. He was in the ER. They had this big mask on his face that had a um, thing, like a band around his um, head and it basically forced air into his uh, into, when he inhaled it just forced it out. So they called emergency dialysis and gave him dialysis 630 to 7. I had to leave about 5 a.m. to get home to get the kids off to the bus. I was going to let my older son um, sleep in a little bit just so I could get a little bit of sleep. But I just couldn't sleep, so I got up and got my oldest son off to to the bus at about six thirty. Well, I got up at probably six to do that, and got him off about six thirty. And then other kids left at about seven thirty. I did get about thirty minutes of sleep, and two of my kids had speech for eight thirty. Well, one of them had it for eight thirty. One of them had it for nine thirty. So my youngest Emily, she had it for eight thirty. So Cameron who was 12 and I went next door to to the hospital to see daddy. We at that point found out he was in the ICU and the baby could not come with us. So I left Cameron who is 12 with the baby in the car seat and my cell phone and I walked back there to see Darren and to kind of get an update on what was going on. He was in the middle of dialysis and he was doing better, doing a lot better. Um, he still had the mask on, but he was doing better. They did discuss moving him to a regular room. That did not happen. Um, my mom had gone to work, so um, I was kind of on my own. Um, I brought Cameron to speech, and then Emma went to school after Cameron finished speech. Then Cameron had therapy, and after his therapy, he went to school. I was going to see if I could find somebody to babysit so I could go up to the hospital. But by 1 o'clock, I was shot. I was dead. I hadn't really slept that night. And so the baby and I just crawled in the bed and fell asleep. That evening, my mom had um, shown up with my grandmother at the house. And they 
say here and I left the baby. That was so incredibly hard. I uh, packed my pump and I left the baby and went up to the hospital. As I drove off, I was crying in tears because I was missing this little guy so much. I didn't want to leave him. And I just just didn't want to leave him and just go. But at the same time, I needed to know that his daddy was okay. And his daddy needed me too. So I left him. We went and we had dinner together. And I think I stayed from 5 to 8. And I pumped while I was up there. And he had gotten one bottle while I was up there. So I came home and went to bed pretty much. We got the kids fed and went to bed. And I had to get the next morning and get them all to school. Grandma and Mom stayed at the house with us. Um, Grandma was going to babysit for me. It took me a while to leave this little guy again, but I did. Um, I guess about 12, 30, 1 o'clock, I finally decided that I was ready to go. And I left plenty bottles that I had pumped for Grandma and the baby. And I went to the hospital and he was pretty much being ready to be discharged. He was doing much better. Um, he was good. So he was discharged. You know, I was up there for a little while before they discharged him. But they discharged him and I came home. The baby had had a bottle and she had fixed out another bottle that he did not drink. So um, I and he was asleep so I pumped at that point. Because I had not pumped at the hospital at that time. There was just too much going on. So I pumped. And I think we have been even with our pumping and how much he was eating. So that's really good. He's trying to eat right now. Um, he's kind of a noisy eater. But, um, let's see. I think he might have a little burp or he might be getting sleepy. But anyhow, so it's been a crazy week so far, and it's been hard to kind of work with what's going to be going on with him, with Theus and the breastfeeding. But I'm very, very grateful that I have family that has come in and been able to help me. But at the same time, I'm so glad to have my husband home and to have my baby in my arms, and I just don't want to ever, ever, ever leave him. You know, all the sleepless nights and the crying and and all the stuff going on. I'm just happy to have him in my arms. And he is going bald back here. I don't know if you can see. And he's also teething really bad. Gumming on my fingers, drooling everywhere. Ordered him some bibs, so it's really great. But um, it's just really sweet to have back in my arms and I'm just content with that. I will try and get things uploaded and get caught up on all of my videos but as of now I just need to spend time with my little baby and my husband and all of my other children. So I really hope that you all had a better week than I have and um, if anybody has any spare prayers please send them our way. We can always use the prayers. And we're just going to go and chill, maybe get a little snack when this little bag goes to sleep, which I think he's about to sleep. So we're going to get a little snack. And I will um, talk to you later. The thing as far as the breastfeeding is, I want to eat things that have a little bit more fat. Maybe I could make a little bit healthier milk for him. I know that avocados has a healthy fat, but I'm not exactly sure what else um does so i'm kind of stumped i'm not always been the healthiest eater but i'm trying um if you know what are good healthy foods for breastfeeding moms that can help make help her make really good milk and stuff like that please give me a comment below so um i will see y'all for um week 14 next week um we're hoping to try and get his three month pictures done. We have not really been able to do that, but as always, please subscribe to my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment below and share my video 
so that other people could find find this and maybe I can help somebody else or maybe you'll connect two people that'll become friends or who knows. But anyway, have a fantastic week and we will see you later. Bye.